show. Pico! Well, I didn't see him, but... Jadini. And, um... To get started with this video. Look at my... Look at my monitor show. Um... So... You guys can't see him. It doesn't really matter. It's not, the video's not really about him. Um... So... Let's start with this fan monitor. I already told you I'm going to get that. I'm going to come up and tell you what everything I'm going to get. Let me pull this a little bit closer. Let me see what you guys can see. Hope you guys can still see me. Pretty sure you can. But, um, first thing, Savannah Monitor. Then, I'm going to be replacing my Western Bulls make that got out. That's going to be cool. Um, a female Western Hogwarts to breed with Harley once he gets up to, up to weight. A uh, female corn or a black rat. I really want another black rat to breed with mine. I really love the snakes. They're native species to Maryland. I just really like the snakes a lot. Um, albino tangerine and dirty milk snake. Very pretty. King snake, so I'm not gonna read it. I don't want to take a chance. It's just I just don't want to see anything get hurt or die. Can you stop. Sorry. Um. Female Leo. So I have a quad. I think it's what's called a four. A group of four to breed. Two males. One that got from Pecco, the tangerine. And the high yellow, the tangerine will probably be breeding with my um, raptor stripe, I think that's what it's called. It's got a stripe in the middle of it, but it's a raptor, a bino. That's what a raptor is, now a bino. Ruby eye, or something like that. Um, spider ball python, female. If you don't care if I do that, it's awesome. Uh, pastel ball python, male. And what I said I'm not going to get an RG and what I'm going to take, but I am. Um, I'll be getting all this within six months, so I'll have everything on this list by Christmas. These are just blessings I'm buying, not blessings that I have in my collection. So I will be greeting, like I just said 35 times. But, um, so... Reptile room update. This is not reptile room. Temporary reptile room. The official reptile room is about halfway done now. I keep on saying halfway, but it wasn't. It was about a quarter way done. I'm just trying to make, make myself sound cool. It's, a, it's legitly about halfway done. Gotta clean it up, get some of the big furniture that's still in there out, vacuum, start moving shit in, get all the clothes out. And do work. That's pretty much all I have to do. Um, what it's gonna look like? You walk in, turn left. The hole is 11 foot long by 8 foot high. Er, no. Something like that. Because the back wall is 11, 11 foot long, 8 foot high. Yeah. It's 11 by 8. Um, I can fit three racks, like the gecko rack or the beans rack, the big black rack. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put three of those. One's going to be um, mainly geckos. And they're going to have pieces of wood in between them to make shelves. So I can pull them out like a um, reptile shelf or snake shelf. Um, then the other one's going to be colubrids, Hat hatchings that I hatch out, hatchings that I buy, adults, and yes, that's pretty much it for those two. And then the third shelf is going to be baby boas, which is, I don't know why I did this, baby boas and hatchling ball plate thongs. Because I will be bringing boas too, my dad has a friend who's bred boas.
Rose for over 20 years, and Kenny or something like that, and he's gonna give, write me a whole piece of paper on how to, what, what he does to read. I gotta fix the heat tape real quick. Heat He also has um, a couple of berms, retics, I've been there, boas, and a couple of white guns too, but he's doing red tails and hog island boas and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be cool. I have a whole bunch of bows bite me. Um, I'm not really worried about getting bit anymore. It's part, it's part of the hobby. You have to get over the fear of that. Um, if you get bit, it's your fault. And if you get bit and you blame the animal, then you're a fault card because you're the one who spend your money buying an animal that has the, that has the ability to hurt you. I know. It's going in buying a Savannah monitor, you know, part of your team black and white taken, and I get older, I mean, when they get up to size, they have the potential to break my finger and give me a lot of stitches, but if that, if that happens, it's my fault. First of all, I probably grabbed it when it went the wrong way, or pissed it off, or it's my fault that I bought it, plain and simple. Not the animal's fault that it's a captive bred animal. It's natural instinct is to defend itself. So yeah, that's kind of weird. But um, yeah. Um, the back wall. Anyway, sorry, I got another little argument with the camera there. The back wall is gonna have or the floor. The floor level is gonna have a um. First thing is gonna be for the Savannah Miner once it gets bigger or a year old or whatever. Anyway, like after it moves out of the club, it'll probably be in a couple, maybe like six, seven months, eight months tops. It'll be in a um, five by three by three, and that'll last, last it, most likely its whole, whole life. It should. That's minimum, though. Um, see how tame he is now? I, I'm so, my ADHD sucks balls in it. <laughs> Then um, there, that's that's a little bit less than half the wall. Okay, and then wait, right next, to, right beside that, probably gonna be connected to that, but a block in the middle so they can't get, get to each other. One big tank split in two almost against the whole wall. Um, it's gonna be a six by three by three for a female Argentine black and white tank. So that's gonna be awesome. I'm not sure if it's going to have tracks so I can have a sliding glass door or something that comes and pulls down with a lock. I don't know yet. Well, I'll to keep updating you guys with this. This video is going to take a while to upload. So, yeah, and then the top is going to be the male bow with a 4x2x2 two two, and then the female next to that with a 6x2x2. Two two. So, uh, yeah, and then have outlets in the middle, um, neat, neatly hung up on the wall. And then in front of the room heater, it's, our, it's at like a, it's a wheel heater, I think it's called. We'll have the Paul Python room rack. We'll have the Houdini female that I just got. She'll be probably as big as him next year. Maybe we'll be a little bit bigger. Um, the spider and pesto. And then we'll be breeding in the next couple of years when I find a small place on around my house. So, uh, we'll have a supplies rack. Probably that one right there. So, yeah, guys, this is a nine minute video. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.